Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from FandangleProductions.com Welcome to our tutorial on how to build a GIF viewer using WX Form Builder. Uh, part 9 is we'll add the code to our uh, directory picker that will then, uh, when we open a directory, we set the directory that we want, it will then populate the uh, the list box of all GIFs that are in that folder. Okay, so here we have where we left off the last tutorial, part 8, and we now have a list box. So with the list box, uh, just checking here, okay, directory, go back there, click that, Yes, we have an event for that. Now we go to the list box. We don't have an event. So we double click on the list box. Double click. There we go. We have now generated an event. If we look in the Python code down here, we now have two events. The directory picker and the list box. And then when you click the list box, meaning when you select one of the GIF files in the list box, it will then put that GIF, uh, send that GIF to the animation control. Okay, so what we need to do here is we'll open our frame cleaner. Oh yes, we save the file and then we generate the file, click the generate button. There we go, we've generated it. Now we'll click here. Now I think I said put BK there for backup, uh, but because we haven't added any code to um, our file, our GIF view file, there's the GIF view file, we haven't added any code to it yet, it doesn't matter if we clean it. Uh, but after we've uh, cleaned up this file and adding code, then we put a BK there so that we don't overwrite all the code that we put in there. Okay, so we have an asterisk here, meaning it needs to be saved. So Control S to save and then, then the function key F5 to run it. There we go, we run the code, it's been saved. Then we'll open up our source folder. Here it is, we open the GIF viewer and we'll press F5, function key F5 to run it, run the script, and there we go. There is our GIF viewer so far. Okay, now there is no animation control on here. So we won't be able to see any GIFs, that'll be another tutorial. Okay, so now we have our directory picker and our list box. So let's start adding code, but before we do that, we go to the clean frame fix cleaner file, and here, output file, we want to change that to BK as in backup control s to save and that is why with the file name i didn't put dot pi in there we just wanted the file name because we want to make a backup file so as not to overwrite the code that you're going to put in here and sometimes it can take hours writing code and testing your application and to write over all of that code would be so frustrating. Okay, and the reason why I put these in is uh, down the track you might make a program, program. For instance here, I always put my settings relating to widgets before the application starts. Here I'm going to call this self gif path equals none. Okay, so that means because we put self, these are functions, each function will be able to access this 
because we've given it a name that is accessible by any of the functions okay and this will have the path of the uh, the gif file control s to save okay so here on date uh, directory picker I get confused with date picker I use date picker a lot okay so here we go self dot gif path yes I could have copy and pasted that path equals events dot get value so what that means is that you I'll run it here okay so I've opened the original file the gif viewer so I'll we'll open it click open okay for builder templates gif source gif open that okay as soon as the directory picker is populated with the folder or directory where the GIFs are it then populates the list box okay so here's the code down here so when the event happens when we click OK select this directory it populates it it, it sends out an event message or signal okay and then when that signal happens then uh, WX Python will go to this this function and then give path which is that none here will then become where the directory is of all the GIF files okay and then we will create a, a function and we call this pop gif list self okay and copy that put it in there copy self save me typing it okay so what we're saying is as soon as you get the path of the gif directory go to pop gif list which means populate gif list I could have said populate but I'd rather use pop okay now we go self now what is the name of the list box so this is where it's handy to read be able to read the code here it is here list box gif files okay so we'll copy that so we don't give it the wrong name overwrite self there we go self see made a mistake there would have got an error with that okay so we go self list gif file clear so if you've got another folder with gif files it will clear what's in the list then we go all fills as in files equals os dot list directory and we go self actually it's this one here that's our where our directory is now OS uh, that is a Python module that we need to add if we don't then we get an error okay Python comes before WX Python so we go import OS save it control S okay 
all files without the E ah, we'll say all files okay all files and then we go for file in all files so we're going through for loop if file ends with dare I guess gif dot gif in other words if the extension is a gif file yes I want to list the gif files and then we go where is the list box here it is we cleared that so copy that list files append file append a text control you would append text but we want to don't want to do that we want to append the file what the file is okay so that's it so we'll save the code and we'll run it there's an error ah it's an if statement so put a colon in there hit enter so that I know where the indent, indent is bring that down there now save it here we go and we run it yes we're able to look up a file a directory I should say and uh, object has no attribute get value that's odd what line number self get path event get value something's wrong there pick a equals event ah yes it's not value it's path path see with a text control that will be get value sorry about that my mistake control s to save run okay now we go down where we templates give you a source gives bingo there we go done we populated our list control and nothing is happening because we got event skip so when we click the list box nothing happens okay next tutorial we'll be adding the gif uh, gif animation control okay that's the end of the tutorial add our list box to our gif viewer okay i hope you enjoyed the tutorial so till the next tutorial goodbye